Thanks a lot, Matt. We'll see you again in just a few minutes. Well, back in 2011, Premont ISD was close to being shut down by the Texas Education Agency. Fast forward to 2020, and not only is the school district still open, but they are passing with flying colors. Sunrise reporter Roland Rodriguez joins us now live from Texas A&M Kingsville with more. Good morning, Roland. Uh, good morning, Sonia, and good morning, Sound Texas. Without the university's unprecedented, I guess you could say, partnership with Premont ISD, Premont ISD would have been forced to shut their doors. Now, Premont ISD is on the brink of completing their $13 million facility project that included a new artificial football field, an all-weather track, new softball stadium, and close to a million dollars in renovations to Premont Collegiate and new STEM Discovery Center. We experienced over 14% enrollment growth um, in August of 2019, and we're expecting more. We have a very vibrant early college high school uh, program. Uh, we're a founding member of the Rural Schools Innovation Zone with Freer and Falfurious High School. Premont Superintendent Steve Van Matry says the recent success of the school district comes from the community. Never, never have I been um, on the end of a tax increase that was as significant as what Premont's was. It was a 33 penny tax increase on $100 valuation in May of 2017. And, and, and that support by the community of Premont really started the ball rolling. That ball continues to roll with a district who is now 10 days away from opening the door to their first new elementary school since 1971. We have far too many children who come to our schools that live in dysfunctional homes. So we have to be the city on a hill, so to speak, for those kids. We have to show them that come, come to our schools, you'll be safe, you'll be nurtured, you'll be cherished. We will delight you and we will offer you the best programming around. In 2019, Governor Greg Abbott recognized Premont ISD as one of the top five best college career-ready districts in Texas. That's an unbelievable story. It's the greatest comeback story in the history of Texas public education. Yeah, this is a great story. If you think about it, Mike, if the district would have closed down, Premont would have been a ghost town. So going from almost closing down to being one of the top schools in the state, that's incredible. All right, Roland, thanks for that report. We appreciate it.